is up everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope you are good i hope your ankles and wrists are moisturized today's video is going to be everything you need to know about braces so a lot of people come to me and they ask me a lot of questions about braces and they want to debunk myths and stuff like people say the craziest things about getting braces like it's gonna change your whole life all of your friends are gonna leave you're never gonna be able to eat again you're gonna become so skinny because you're not gonna be able to eat i am here today to tell you the truth about braces what you actually need to know before you get them so before we get into it you already know the drill hit the thumbs up Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get right into it. So, number one, the most commonly asked questions about braces is, do they hurt? The answer to this is, it depends. <laughs> it depends on what stage you are at in your braces journey. The actual process of getting them put on, that doesn't hurt at all. It's just like, they pretty much just glue the brackets on, feed the wire through, all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. At least for the first few hours, it doesn't hurt. But then a couple of hours later, you start to feel some sensation in your mouth. And then the pain kicks in. And that is probably the most uncomfortable stage of having braces. When you first get them in, it feels, it feels so uncomfortable. Like, it's a combination of pain and discomfort. Because when you really think about it, your teeth are being pulled your teeth are migrating they're being pulled and pushed and yeah it's just it's not something that would naturally occur so your body doesn't like it and it's like yo what's going on so yes and no braces hurt when you first get them on and when you get them tightened you'll be visiting your orthodontist maybe monthly or every three weeks or so just to get your braces all checked up get any broken brackets replaced and tightened the tightening hurts Eat before you go to your appointment for a tightening and eat before you get your braces on because afterwards it's going to be hard to eat. I'm not even going to play. It gets kind of difficult to eat when you're in the stages that actually hurt. But for the majority of your braces journey, there's not too, too much pain involved. The next most common question that I get asked is how long do you have to have them in for? And for me personally, listen, I was lied to. <laughs> They initially said, initially my treatment was supposed to last 18 months. It has been damn near three years. <laughs> my treatment had to be extended for a couple of different reasons. Things were moving as they expected. But for every single individual, the amount of time that you'll have braces for depends on what you're having done. If your teeth aren't that bad, you can have braces for as little as like six months or a year. But like, I know one girl who had braces for eight years. May God, may God reward her in heaven because I don't know how I would do eight years. It really just depends on what you're having done, what they're doing to you, and how fast your teeth move. How fast your teeth move depend like really determines a lot. And to help your teeth move faster, brush your teeth and your gums. When you keep your teeth and your gums clean, I'm not sure if this is even true, but my orthodontist said when you keep your teeth and your gums clean, it helps your teeth to move faster. And you always want that because that means you get your braces off quicker. The next most commonly asked question is what can I not eat? So typically when you first get your braces, your orthodontist will walk you through a list of foods and things that you can't have and things that you should limit and shouldn't have. So on that list you see things like fizzy drinks, you know, sodas, pop, whatever you call it, wherever you are. Um, you'll see things like gum, you'll see things like toffee. The corn on the cob, chicken on bone. I don't know about you, but I cannot live without corn on the cob and chicken on the bone. I broke a lot of the rules, to be honest. Um, the, they give you the guidelines of what you can't eat for a reason. It's to make sure that you don't break any of your brackets. I think I've only ever broken two brackets in about three years, which is pretty good. To be honest, you can pretty much eat everything they say don't eat. You just need to be cautious. Except for apples. Do not do apples. When they say you can't bite into an apple, they need to cut it up. Listen, because I tried that and I regretted it so deeply. Apples are a big no-no. But pretty much, you can eat almost anything as long as you're cautious with it. You just need to remember that certain things will get trapped in your braces. Certain things will like like linger in your braces and it will look gross for you. So yeah, just think about what you're eating and how you're going to clean up your braces, is it going to break your brackets, all that kind of stuff. If you keep all that in mind, you'll eat cautiously, and I'm pretty sure you can eat whatever you want. Orthodontists would hate me for saying that. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> Heather's my orthodontist. <laughs> the next question is, will I lose weight? So a lot of people who get braces, they lose weight because they can't eat the same stuff that they're used to eating because of, I don't know, teeth sensitivity, maybe they're in a lot of pain, or maybe they listen to their orthodontist and they cut back a lot of foods. But getting braces is not like a surefire way to lose weight. I was actually so excited to lose weight. Girl, I gained weight. <laughs> getting braces is not a surefire way to lose weight. So if you, it really depends on who you are, what you're eating, how often you're eating. There's no, I can't tell you you're going to gain weight and I can't tell you, I can't tell you you're going to lose weight and I can't tell you you're not going to lose weight. So it really just depends on every single individual. The next issue that a lot of people want to know about is will it affect your self-esteem? So basically braces are a change to how you look outwardly and to a lot of people that means a whole lot and they determine their self-worth off of that. But honestly, braces are only as big of a deal as you make them. If, the, if you just decide that they're a part of you, their treatment that you're going through, and they really don't matter and they're irrelevant, they're gonna have zero effect on your self-esteem. If you decide to obsess and start to think about, oh, people are gonna lick at me, they're gonna think my teeth are crooked, it's gonna affect your self-esteem. So it just depends on the mindset you go in with and the correct mindset to have. They're just braces, they're gonna be gone in a couple years this is a treatment it's not that deep the next question is do I have to wear my rubber bands yes <laughs> if you do not wear your rubber bands you will extend your braces time so much if you do not wear your rubber bands you're just playing yourself you're playing yourself not the orthodontist you're playing yourself Rubber bands are for jaw alignment, I believe, and also for your teeth as well, some that might be out of place. But listen, if your orthodontist is wear these 24-7, you better be wearing them 24-7. That's the only advice I can give you. And don't double up on them either, because that's just going to hurt you, and it's not going to speed up the process. Just listen to what the orthodontist says, and you'll be sweet. Another commonly asked question is, are braces expensive? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure about in other parts of the world, but here in New Zealand, you have to pay for your own braces. They can range from like $3,000 to like $8,000, depending on what you're having done, what's being done to your mouth. But yeah, braces are not cheap. They are pretty expensive. Shout out to my mother. But yeah, they're not cheap. They're definitely expensive. That's why when you have them, you shouldn't be overthinking. Like, they're expensive for a reason. They're doing their job. They're giving you that straight smile, the straight teeth and everything. So, yeah, just ride the wave, bro. Let it, let it happen. Let it happen to you. I think that is it for all of the frequently asked questions about braces. If you guys have any more questions, drop them in the comment section drop them in the comment section and I will answer you if you also have braces comment down below and let me know how long you've had braces for and when you're supposed to get them off if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up if you did not enjoy this video hit the thumbs up make sure you comment make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button like it's just punch one of your teeth out of line hit the subscribe button like like you were walking around with something green in your teeth all day and it did not tell you. Because that's disrespectful. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.